Hi, I'm Nika and today I would like to talk and we read the scripture and the topic would be finding a husband, finding a godly husband. So um, scripture is uh, loaded with uh, uh, wisdom and uh, understanding and the direction how to find a spouse. So uh, in this case, I will uh, address this. Actually, uh, it could be addressed to uh, uh, men in God, uh, of God and women of God, both because the scripture will speak for both of us. And uh, <clears throat> uh, let's just read the scripture, a couple of the scriptures, then we can talk about that. I will be reading from Isaiah 34, 16. Uh, I will be reading from... Uh, English Standard Version. Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of this shall be missing. None shall be without her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has commanded and his spirit has gathered them. Let's just read uh, Proverbs 18, 22. The same English Standard Version. He who finds a wife finds a good things and obtains favor from the Lord. I'll read Genesis 2, 18. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. In Ecclesiastes, two are better, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For, they, for if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A Threefold cord is not quickly broken. Psalm 27, 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Jeremiah 33, 3 is one of my favorites. Wait for the Lord, be strong. Uh, that's a psalm, psalms. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me and I will answer you. And will let you, will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Genesis 2.24 Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Uh, let's go back and just talk about what the scripture says and just try to understand uh, uh, how we can get all the wisdom from the scripture in, and be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let's read again uh, Isaiah 34, 16. Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of this shall be missing. None shall be without her mate. None shall be without her mate. So, if you are feeling lonely, if you feel like you, you feel like that you cannot, uh, you, you feel like you did not meet your mate in life and the relationships in your life, that you had, they're not working out the way, and something is doesn't fit right or doesn't feel right with you. It's not uh, how to say. It's not uh, feel completed or finished or you know how 
I feel some in a discomfort uh, about, about re your relationship. It is, it is better to uh, uh, just hold on on the word of God and, and just trust what God says and just wait upon the Lord. And I know uh, because the word, uh, or if you feel lonely, if you don't have no, if you have no relationship with anybody, you don't have, you didn't have met a person that you, uh, you can open your heart and you share the values together. You share your faith, uh, and you have met yet, and you do feel lonely uh, sometimes and uh, sad or uh, burdensome. Uh, then I would uh, encourage because I have done myself uh, before I got uh, I met my wonderful husband in Christ Jesus and we have an absolutely amazing praise the Lord amazing marriage uh, in Christ Jesus so before I would pray and meditate on the Word of God where it says seek and read from the book of the Lord so when you more meditate in the Word of God Nothing that is written for you, not one of the promises of the Lord, uh, will, said none of this shall be missing. Not, nothing that Lord promised you will be missing. And it says also, there's the promises for the, the uh, lonely one, for lonely people, for people who, are, who uh, have a, a committed uh, a, a relationship, committed under, under the Lord. Uh, there is a wonderful promises that who, who feel lonely. It says, None shall be without her mate. None shall be without her mate. So even though it addresses to her that she would have a mate, but it's, it will apply because the Bible applies for everyone who believes in the Word of God. This <clears throat> none shall be without her mate. That means none will have their own mate. No, there's no none, and uh, according to the scripture, uh, that would be that would be great, great, uh, absolutely great uh, passage in the scripture and promise that you can hold on. It's a none shall be without her mate. If you are uh, longing for a good marriage and uh, uh, find <clears throat> your mate uh, assigned by God and predestined by God, and God knows your God created you, your personality, your character, your your um, mm, giftings and everything, and God knows because He created you. He knows exactly what is perfect made for your life, and it just wait upon the Lord. And how I did, I waited upon the Lord. I waited upon the Lord for. I had to wait it. I had to wait for uh, long years. Uh, not always was. Not always. Not every day was uh, easy to wait upon the Lord. But praise the Lord. I waited upon the Lord, and and I received what is what God has had for me in uh, in store for me, and I'm very happy that I received that. So none shall be without her mate. That's a promise. If you uh, desire marriage, if you desire to find your mate and be in committed under covenant relationship, none shall be without her mate. It's written in Isaiah 34, 16. Uh, for for, pe for men, here a great promise. So as we know that uh, women, uh, we are as a daughter of God, a daughter and children of God, as uh, as a daughters of God, we don't go and seek for God for uh, our spouses because it's not our role. We uh, like uh, as a as a single woman, as a single. Uh, uh, parent as someone I was uh, available to be found so I was single and I was uh, 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 was uh, receptive for a, uh, you know meeting people and having uh, uh, conversations and and uh, uh, fellowshipping with with people and finding out uh, the values and because for me it was very important to share the same values same values same faith uh, in the common things, uh, with what we like. So um, here, Proverbs eighteen twenty two, for uh, men of God, for men, uh, for all the uh, men, uh, is written. This proverb eighteen twenty two with a great wisdom. It says, 
he who finds a wife finds a good things and obtains favor from the Lord. He who finds a wife finds good things and obtains favor from the Lord. So finding a wife, a spouse, uh, your lifetime um, committed under the covenant of the Lord, a wife who would walk with you is a good things and it obtains favor from God. So this is also a passage, it's a, a speaking to me also, um, the relationships, some of the relationships when people have uh, out of the marriage, out of covenant of God and finding, uh, not, uh, finding a mate and not making her a wife, but just using her as a wife but not marrying is not good. That means there is, you're lacking you're lacking favor from God, from the Lord. So again, Proverbs 18, 22, he, find, he, he who finds a wife finds a good things and obtain favor from the Lord. Obtaining favor from the Lord is finding a wife. It's a good thing. In Genesis 2, 12, 2 18, it says, Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. So if God said that Lord God said it is not good, it's not good for a man, uh, it's not good that man should be alone. So when you're alone, uh, it's easy to uh, get uh, self-distracted. So uh, it, we're not talking about having a quality time with yourselves and and self-educating and analyzing and thinking about things and making some decisions and spending time with the Lord and yourself and uh, just going through things and we should have have time, quality time with ourselves and, uh, and the Holy Spirit will speak to us, uh, to us, um, speak to and uh, guide us and give wisdom in, and uh, uh, bring uh, uh, thoughts in outlook of life we should have but but we're not talking about that which uh, the Bible t talks about it's not uh, good that man that the man should be alone in general alone and God says I will make him a helper fit for him so as a female as a female as a creation that created us with his creations as a, me as a female version of God of, uh, of God's creation and God created us on his own image and I know that my role as being a wife and as a helper to my husband is helper and and I understand that uh, as, a, as a female as a as a wife as a woman uh, I have as a woman I have um, we have a more sensitive uh, we, are, we are more sensitive to the the voice of the Holy Spirit we sense things maybe because our emotional level was, has more um, on the sharp side of on sensing something in. And uh, that's why probably Lord created us the, the way we, we uh, can think in uh, uh, different spectrums of the color of things uh, rather than the man, man thinks more logical. They are more uh, problem solvers. Uh, they they are they tend to uh, um, they feel good about themselves to resolve problems solve problems but we tend to think and analyze things and think uh, uh, just with with more help so he will make a uh, helper fit for him it says um, uh, Ecclesiastes four nine uh, twelve also says that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. So for they, if, they, if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. So I would uh, highly suggest uh, just read Isaiah 34, 16, Proverbs 18, 22, Genesis 2, 18, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 8, 12, Psalm 27, 14, Genesis 2, 24, 2 Peter 3, 9, 
2 Corinthians 6, 14. Proverbs 31, the whole Proverbs 31, it's amazing. It's amazing, Pro uh, whole Proverbs, whole chapter. Matthew 7, 7, Isaiah 62, 4. 1 Corinthians 7, 39, Proverbs 31. Uh, I would encourage and pray about your future spouse. Pray and bless. Uh, bless uh, and a uh, bless before you uh, make decision. I'm ready uh, to be. Uh, I'm ready to be a wife, or to, uh, I'm ready for marriage. Uh, Lord in, encouraged me to <clears throat> pray as in, for the anointing for to be a wife. To be a wife, it's it's a special anointing. Helper of my husband and wife. Uh, especially if you live the, your uh, life alone and you maybe run a business and you made a decision for your own life and uh, it's uh, uh, to be submissive to one another it's it's <clears throat> it takes courage it takes uh, uh, I wouldn't say work marriage is not work marriage is a wonderful joyful journey with your husband and with your wife uh, it is something sometimes could be challenging, but challenges are uh, sharpening us. And there is always uh, ex uh, amazing um, a solution for a, each challenging. There's three words I always say. We, we, my husband and I, we always say three wonderful, important words in our marriage. We say, I love you. We say, thank you. We say, uh, forgive me. Those three words, I love you, thank you, forgive me. Because at the end of the day, I always ask my husband, uh, did I say something? Or maybe I raised my voice, maybe I was impatient. Uh, would you forgive me if anyhow I hurt your feelings or did or said something? And my husband would think and he would say, yes, you said this, or he said, no, I don't remember. So he does the same thing. He uh, immediately turns around and says, would you forgive me if I anyhow hurt you? And we forgive each other every day, and we thank God uh, for each other every day. So uh, those uh, wonderful promises and prayers that I will pray that Lord will send uh, a special spouse for you a special mate for you that God created just for you, a perfect fit and perfect helper. So I pray that you will wait upon the Lord and His word will be fulfilled in your life. And until next time, God bless you.